Hey folks, this is Game Master Mike, and we are going to take a look at these Natural Killer Predators DVD and books. Now, I've ordered this on eBay for really cheap. It was um, $20, and it came with this amazing case. So, um, this is a perfect area to store all these Natural Killer Predators DVDs. Uh, you see, when I um, got this, it was listed under acceptable, and um, the uh, sleeve here is torn. I uh, fixed that with um, scotch tape, and it fits perfectly. And here is all um, 26, but um, 23 is missing, and that's not, not a big deal. I can find it. Well, um, I had a couple of these that I bought at Half Price Books. Um, the Dingo's Wild Dog at War and the Cry of the Wolves. I should have picked up the whole set, but I passed it up. Now, we are not going into detail on all of them because it will um, be a long video of me um, saying so. So, we're going to look at a few, which are, is one of my favorites. And there's also a one with fishes and sharks in it, which I want to get real soon because that looks cool. And so we're going to set this down here and we're going to get into details. So there's one um, called Shark Quest, Big Cat Challenge, Swamp Tigers, Living with Lions, Day of the Jackal, Polar Bear Alcatraz, A Life with Bears, Spain's Last Lynx, Valley of the Golden Baboon, Kalahari Supercat, Ghost of the Great Salt Lakes, Caracal Top Cat, Penguins Under Siege, Cry of the Wolves, Shark Central, Dingo's Friend or Foe, Zambalzi, Force of Life, The uh, Shadow of the Tiger, Leopard Seals, Lords of the Ice, The Real Fight Club, Puma, The Lions of the Americas, Africa's Secret 7, Hornets, A Sting in the Tail, Global Wolf, and Wild Dogs Biting Back. So, we are going to take a look at this. I'm going to do a review of it. Let's do a Shark Quest, for example. Um, see, here's what they look like as you open them. Um, the disc here, some are in perfect condition, some aren't. As you can tell, this has worn over time, and this disc came apart. Not a big deal, I can fix this. And look, it has one of those sleeves and facts. Here's one with a Nile crocodile, which looks amazing. And here is the booklet. They did some amazing art books. It shows the range, it shows the facts, the prey, what they eat. I really do um, enjoy looking at these books a lot, and they also have the family trees and everything. So yeah, that is a plus. So I am into collecting nature DVDs because I like to um, watch it a lot, especially uh, for National Geographic, which I really do love to um, watch. Since it's on Disney Plus, I've been watching a ton of National Geographic and I want to collect um, DVDs for it, which looks amazing. I also have a few Disney Nature DVDs, which I want to start to collect. So, very amazing. Maybe I should do a collection of nature videos in the far future. We'll worry about that later. And let's look at another, another one. This is Day of the Jackal, which is amazing. I um, really do like this book. It shows all the facts around here. Family tree, everything, prey, what they eat. Really do um, love this. So, yeah. I'm going to um, show you some details about it. Look at another one. This is Spain's Last Links. So, inside it, it shows the card. There's the clouded leopard. Very amazing. There's the uh, prey. 
very nice. So look at a couple ones here. This is um, Dingo's friend or foe. This one I bought at Half Price Book a few years ago. Very amazing. Here's the WWF um, Wild Worldwide Fun. There's a panda. Very amazing facts. Really do love it. Let's do a couple more. This is Leopard Seals Lord of the Ice. Here's the Coconut Crab card, which is in it. Shows all the ranges of where all these um, animals came from. So, which is very amazing. Love it. And finally, let's do um, Hornets, a Sting in the Tail. And here's the Galapagos Artipelago. So yes, uh, very amazing. I really do um, enjoy looking at all these books. And I strongly recommend um, getting this set or getting a, a few if you're into um, collecting nature DVDs like me. Well folks, there you have it. That is my review of the Natural Killer Predators DVD set which I'm missing issue 23. Hope I get it real soon. And until next time, folks, thanks for watching.